Hey family, how y'all doing? Look, it is raining outside. Girl, sir, why do people think they need to drive? Y'all hear that? Why do people think they need to drive faster in the rain? It don't make no sense. <laughs> so look, I was sitting here, cause I got a um sitting outside and I was sitting here and I was thinking, look, I'm never going back to corporate America. I ain't doing it. I girl, no. Why I'm never going back to corporate America? Let me tell you why. Number one, we are not meant to be slaves. I'm just telling you, that was not God's plan. It was not God's design. Now, God left us to be stewards, yes, but slaves, no. And he said, no longer slaves are you, but you are my children. You are my sons and daughters. We ain't meant to be slaves. You got to ask your boss. I hope y'all can hear me over the rain. You got to ask your boss, can you get off? You got to ask your boss, can you go to the restroom? Can you go to, to the bathroom? Okay, can you go to the restroom? You got to ask on some of these jobs, can you go to lunch? When can you go to lunch? Whether you starve and hungry or not. You got to ask, can you have your 15 minute breaks? And y'all know you're supposed to get them. But 15 minute breaks sometimes, sometimes, if you could just get a good nap, if you if you could just get a real good nap, you will feel so much better. We're not meant to be slaves. We are not meant to be slaves. And a lot of these jobs, I don't care what you say, it's modern day slavery. Y'all, it's just modern day slavery. That's all it is because when they get through, when they get through telling you what you can and cannot do, your baby can be sick. You could have a parent or a sibling or a good friend, a spouse that's dead, dying, almost died, dead, under the bus, sick. And you got to ask, can you take off? And then they look at you crazy. We're expected to work and work and work and expected to make so much money, you know, to make all this money work. Girl, they trying to charge for air. You hear me? I mean, they're charging for everything. <coughs> charging for water. My great grandma had a well. You understand? They ain't charging for gas. MLG and W, I can tell you already, it's too dang on high. You hear me? They are, MLG and W is too high. Now, I don't know. I'm in Memphis. So I, I don't know where you at, but light gas and water is too much and so you gotta work for all this stuff and so you're expected to work like a slut you are expected to work like a dog you understand don't understand me in order just to make a subsistence level amount and we ain't even talking about um trying to you know do the thing and trying trying to make millions of million dollars we talking about just folks trying out here just trying to survive and live and they treat you like dogs, talk to you crazy, talk to you any kind of way. You don't have the time you need to take care of your children, your family. I remember when my kids were small, y'all, Russian, I would have to put my kids, um, my husband and I would have to put our kids in pre-care, which is morning care, so we could get to work by eight, you know, get there for, before school. So they have to get up the crack of dawn before school starts and then they have to go to aftercare in the evenings <coughs> after school and it was like dang i mean reality is you need to you want good children you want good communities but jobs are not here to be trying you know they're not trying to really work around that and your schedule as a parent as a mom as a human being sometimes you just need rest and they just keep piling on more and more work, more and more work, more and more work, more and more work. And you can't have, what the heck is some work-life balance? How can you have it if you want a job? Because when they say you got to come, you're going to have to be there. I don't care what nobody say. And that's just the reality of it. That's just real. I mean, why don't we be real about it, how jobs treat people and then it's like you people brag about having a work family because you see your family and i mean you see your people at work your co-workers more than you see your own family it's crazy and ridiculous i mean i can't believe it and i don't understand why we ain't more shocked we ought to be shocked at how bad we are treated here 
in America and, and at work and how little we make and how hard it is to make it to have a car, to have a, a decent place to live, live in a safe, I mean, safe place. There are literally people who work every day and can't barely afford to stay nowhere, you know, and, and you got the working pool. Why would you have the working pool? And we sitting here, folks sitting here working every day. And then everything, oh, continues to go up. Everything continues to go up. But your pay don't. You know what I'm saying? You working like, already working like a slave. You already working like a dog. And talking to you like a dog. And pity and petty. I mean, petty. The pettiness of corporate can be just ridiculous. The pettiness, that's my job. Those are my things. Turn this into me. Turn it in by Friday by 3. Turn it in. I mean, now I understand deadlines, but sometimes, okay, what is the deadline for? Because you trying to skip out. You Oh, you trying to skip out. You can leave early, but other people can't, right? So you trying to skip out, and but everybody else got to stay. Girl, I feel i left corporate america i feel for you i feel for anybody that has to work a job a nine to five has to work corporate america has to continue to do that and you don't like your job and you and and you don't like your job and you working with petty people and you got a petty boss <laughs> and they starting stuff with you and constantly lying on you and constantly tripping, you know what I'm saying? And constantly, the line part, the line, the pettiness. It's like some of these jobs is like you are on Survivor Island, right? Or you you in the, what's the house? Y'all know the house. You you in the Big Brother house. You in the Big Brother house. You in the, some of these jobs are just like that. Like she got her little crew and they like each other and they talk to each other. And he got his crew and they like each other. And everybody trying to kiss the boss and, you know, kiss the boss's arse and run up behind him. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all been on some of those jobs. And then if you try to be real, try to be yourself, then it's just a bunch of mess and foolishness. You can't be yourself. You cannot be your good, kind, loving, meek, and humble self. You got to come in and be rawr. Because, you you know, you got to do battle on a daily basis. It's ridiculous. We are not to be, meant to be treated like slaves. We're not meant to work all of these hours and not to have any free time. We're not meant to have to bring work home in the evenings every day. We're not meant to then have to turn right around and have to work some Saturdays and some Sundays. Like, when do you ever get a break? And even if you get off on Friday, you rushing and rush hour traffic, driving like a Batman trying to get there. You ain't got no tunnels or nothing. You, you ain't got no helicopter. You you And then uh, in the mornings, you're trying to rush to get up and get the kids and the babies out or get yourself together, get a hub, get some breakfast. Get You, you got to sit and hold your... Um, P, I said you got to sit in here, hurl your urine, and that's how people be getting their um, body functions all off. You got to eat when you can't eat. Try to scarf something down real quick. That's why people, America's having so many issues with your digestion and your gut health and your gut issues. And then you throwing something back that's unhealthy because you got to hurry up in a 30 minutes or an hour to get back to work. I mean, 30 minutes for a lunch break. What this is the definition class of def this is just traded for slavery. They this is the classic definition of slavery. Well they've just traded it now because they own you. Once you get a job with them, they own you. They own you. They tell you when to come, when to go, when you come in, when you go home, how long you got to be there, how long you got to stay, what you got to do with the whole now I get it because you work a job, they're gonna have certain requirements, but to the extent where people are just so mean and petty you know what I'm saying? And you don't have flex time, real flex time, real days off where you can accommodate, have an accommodating schedule to your life and to your work and to have a, be able to have a work-life balance. You can't do that. You don't have that. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And I don't care what nobody say. We are not intended to be slaves. I don't care what nobody say. You weren't intended to have to work like a dog. I don't care what they say. I ain't going back. I said it. I ain't going back to that five. I'm done. I left. I left corporate America. I, I girl. I left corporate America. I had a boss that was out of this world. 
would not i mean i was in a wreck and the boss when i got finally made it somebody backed up on the interstate on me and when i finally made it to work two or three days later because i had to take off i was sore um it messed my car up all the things right and literally you know she told me it was my fault how the hell i mean you know just mean just mean and surly and hateful just hateful for no reason and then i was trying to work on my masters i was a medical writer I was trying to work on my masters i was only african-american and i was trying to work on my master's degree she wouldn't even prove my education she wouldn't even prove my education the stipend that they give or they would pay for your completely pay for your education she wouldn't even approve it I had to work. I had to work. I had babies. My husband and I were on this upward mobility path. We were all sold, you know, go to college, work hard, do all the things, have, you know, get your de degree, take care of your family, do all the things. We were sold on those things. And it was all a lie. Baby. Biggie. It was all a lie. It was all a dream. It was all a sour nightmare. It was a dream that they never intended they intended to slave and slave i looked good for them on their books to say they had you know whatever uh diver diversity that's the reality of it but they had no intentions on treating me right they had no intentions they just wanted me in there and to work like a slave do all the things i ain't going back i ain't going back and then if you're in any type of PR media writing, that kind of stuff, on some of these jobs, even if you're a manager, they want you to lie for them. Ooh, because I work for a company that was still in folks' eyeballs, and this was a, a medical company. And Gary, y'all would know who this is, sir. Y'all would know who this is. Just research it. You ain't meant to be a slave. God, God got plans and goals for you and for me that are bigger than we can ever imagine, ever think. Goals and dreams that are bigger than we can ever think or do or see. And so whatever it is you're trying to do, YouTube or whatever it is you want to do it with your life, girl, do it. Sir, do it. I believe in you because you weren't meant to be a slave.